Hi, how you doing? My name is Andre Cato and I'm here today with another very, very cool and exciting DJ gear review. Well, actually, it's not really a DJ gear review, it's more of a production gear review. But the beautiful thing about this product is that it really does open up the world of production and live production to just about anybody out there. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the brand new Akai Pro Synth Station 25. Now, obviously, with the Synth Station, it is not just a piece of hardware by itself. This big spot here in the middle is for an iPod or an iPhone, more particularly. Now, on your iPhone, you can download a beautiful piece of software from the uh, App Store uh, that will allow you to use this synth station controller to control all the sounds that are stored within the software. Now look, this is a really, really intelligent idea because the iPhone obviously has quite a big brain, quite a big computer memory, and so by utilizing that, it means that you can be traveling anywhere in the world and use what you would use every day as your normal communications device to communicate with your musical audience. I love it. Um, I'm not a producer. I am a DJ and I'm a musician. But being able to sit here and play with drum parts in the MPC style and have three synth parts um, so you can have a lead... Um, a bass and backing, um, some unbelievable sounds, um, and all, all together it's just a really, really, really cool package and very inexpensive. Now look, as I just said, I'm not a producer, so what I've done is I've invited a really, really good friend of mine, Craig Pringle, who is a local producer here in Melbourne, to come and have a chat to us today, um, and he is about to knock on the door, so let's let him in and see what he has to say about the SIN station. Hello, I'm Craig Pringle, um, and I'm here to speak to you about the Akai Professional Synthstation 25 controller. We write a lot of music for our band Freak Technique and also for my own productions. It's basically an application that runs off the iPhone. Um, as you can see, you place your iPhone in the controller and uh, you're pretty much ready to go. One of the main things that I use this for is, I guess, getting ideas down and uh, experimenting with different, uh, different layouts of, of percussion loops and different layouts of synth loops. The first thing that you'll notice when you look at the Akai Professional Synth Station application is when it starts up, you've got your three main components. The first component, obviously, being the MPC 5000 emulation. Then they've got the Mini AK synth emulation as well, which you have three parts to. And then also you've got your mixing uh, your effects and uh, your sends and all that sort of stuff as well. What I wanted to do today was just basically run through each part, um, break it down and just show you what each bit can do. The first, first part is the song and sequence editor. This basically is where you name your song up the top here there is 1 to 32 which basically is one track to the 32nd track that you uh, have had the opportunity to write. Down the bottom, we've got your sequence. A couple of cool features that this does have is it's also got the chain on the air as well. So you don't have to manually click from one uh, sequence to the next. You can hit chain. It's a one bar loop, which you can actually change uh, to two bars or four bars or whatever you want. Um, and then just have that follow on action to obviously complete your track. One of the coolest parts about this, uh, this application and the synth station is the performance part. So obviously you can see here we've got this awesome little uh, 25 key keyboard that it comes with um, and along here you've got your different parts or different instruments I guess um, which you can select without even having to touch your phone. Um, you've got your drums, you've got your synth 1, synth 2 and synth 3 so that obviously can be your th three different parts of, um, of your track. Next thing is the mixer. So basically you've got a master channel for each part. So you've got your drums, your synth 1, synth 2, synth 3, um, and then your master, obviously. Then you've got your sends or your effect sends, which you can uh, use to trigger effects and so on on either one of those parts uh, through your track. So it's quite a basic layout, as you can see here. You've just got basically volumes for each of the, each of the parts, your master volume, and then your send 
for each of the tra of each one of those tracks. XY pad, Akai have basically taken this idea, I guess, and, and based it on uh, like the Korg uh, Chaos pad and, and so on. So it's sort of taking that technology and bringing it to the iPhone, which I think is pretty amazing. Um, now it gets into the nitty gritty parts um, down the bottom here of, of actually the track production, I guess you could call it. Um, you've got your synth edit, which is pretty um, amazing for something that's on an iPhone. Um, you've got you know, three oscillators, you've got your filter envelope to your oscillator, your filter envelope, you got your mixer, your LFO, your VCA, your VCA envelope, and then your XY modulation as well. Then it goes to the grid edit, which is where you obviously just lay your track out and lay down each sequence. At the top here as well, we've got your transport, which you can basically close down or bring back up. And then it's got your selections, which are along here as well. So you've got your drums, your synth, synth 2, and synth 3. You've got your drum kit. This is crazy, like MPC 5000 emulation. Bunch of different kits. I prefer the techno kit, funnily enough. Not only do you have the uh, the option of choosing a different drum kit, you've got your um, nine pads to uh, to play around on. You can get right in and edit each one of those drum sounds as well. And then you basically have your effects. So um, you've got your effect level. You've got the um, sort of the cross or the stereo or mode or whatever you want to call it. Delay left, delay right. Your feedback and your cutoff. Um, all different parameters that you can tweak for the, the delay effect. Um, you've got your phaser, um, which again, you can see here, a whole bunch of different parameters that you can tweak for that particular effect. You've also got chorus and the ever famous flanger. You can never have too much flange. So I'll just quickly run through uh, how easy it is to make a, um, make a little beat up and then we can just you know, play around with a couple of synth sounds and, and see what we come up with. So we've got a very basic loop um, that we've put together. Um, what I want to do is I want to take that sequence now and I want to follow it on to the sequence number two. So I don't know, we might add another percussion element to it. So all I do is I hold down on uh, sequence number one. And we'll go copy, pretty simple. Click on sequence number two, hold it down and paste. So now I've got that same loop on the second sequence and what I want to do now is go into the uh, menu, uh, go to the grid edit, now I'm in the drums, might add in like another little skippy kick and uh, and maybe we'll add in like just another little While we're here, maybe we'll add a little synth in as well. Get that little arpeggiator going. Flick to synth 2. Cool. So as you can see, this is a crazy little piece of kit. You can take it pretty much anywhere with you. It's just really, really intuitive. I hope that that's sort of given you a bit of a layout and given you an idea of what you can do with the, with the SynthStation application and with the controller. Catch you next time. I'm Craig Pringle. Enjoy. Go get you one. Just a, a very, very brief and quick recap. So the unit uh, basically has 16 voices. 10 kits, it has an XY pad for your effects control, um, it has arpeggiator with latching, it has four tracks so you can overlay your melodies and your backing tracks and your drums, it has an MPC 5000 emulator and it runs on batteries. This thing is nuts. It is available now throughout Australia before you even buy the hardware, you can go out and simply try the software. If you own an iPhone or an iPad, you can go directly to the App Store and download it. At the moment, it's actually on sale. Now, it might not be by the time you watch this video, but it's been on sale for about the last couple of months for about 
$2 or $3. So it's extremely cheap, especially when you compare it to the thousands of dollars you would spend on an MPC or equivalent piece of equipment to do this kind of work with. My name is Andre Kato. Thank you very much for joining me. And once again, big thanks to Craig Pringle.